What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Gotta put my headlamp on here, maybe. Bear with me. So I don't have to mess with you guys too much. Pleasure of allegiance, the pleasure of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alright guys. So just did an oil change on the Silverado. This oil funnel from Pittsburgh is awesome. You can stand it straight up in there. It's easy. I can pour two quarts of this stuff in there. But this is where I used eight oil, eight quarts of the AW20 liquid gold, baby. I'm back, AMS oil for good. I'm not changing again. Part number for the oil filter for the 14 through 18 Silverado 5.3. Ecotech EAO17. Okay, here's the part number for the 07 to 12 GMC Acadia EA15K50. Okay, and this hers takes five and a half, five W30 liquid gold. Okay, so <laughs> I recommend one of those. Okay one of those from gear wrench or whoever you want to buy it from okay this is the wrench and this has a thing for the dream bolt very easy especially on this I, you can't see it from here but it's got a plate that goes across so it's a little tight to get in there this is how you fill it up so this takes five and a half the silver rider takes eight and i love it it, it does really good um I'll do the reset, oil life reset and all, but I recommend getting yourself some Grants Harbor Freight rags and some shop towels. I recommend that Harbor Freight funnel. It's 40 bucks now. It used to be uh, 25 or 29 or something. And it comes with adapters for every make and model. Okay. It's got a little seal on the bottom. And this is nice. And the pieces in there because i gotta clean that out with some simple green some simple shit clean that up but it comes with this nice little lid wish it came with a case but it doesn't but these are all the adapters for different makes and models um the gm is the black one in there so i'm probably gonna put this in like a harbor freight case or something and these are going to recycle so eight of those one two three four five six seven eight okay and this one five and a half one two three four five and then a half just about a half for this one again there's the numbers for these two okay and i highly recommend these mechanics nickel back gloves i've been using these for over two years the same pair and they're still going strong clean them up dry them still awesome love them thick enough but not too thick been using this for a while the braun harbor freight headlamp you see that which you can change that okay so i recommend that definitely recommend one of these if not two I have one for the engine oil, and I have another one for the transmission fluid. These rags are must. You set them in a washer by themselves. Deep clean cycle, get them clean. Okay. Um, on this, you definitely need to jack it up. I jack it from this side. The oil fill plugs on the other side. That way, all the oil that I can get out of there comes out of there. And you see this arrow here? That's where you want to jack it up. Okay, make sure to check your grease fittings for grease. They've been greased with AMS oil grease. And you gotta take this plate off to get to the oil fill. Make sure it has hydraulic oil, trust me. I've messed up before and forgot to change it and it blew the cylinder out on another jack, which I have the new cylinder. I'll do a video on that on how to fix that and replace it because it's all one unit now. <coughs> I'm a snap on aluminum jack. <coughs> so yeah that's basically it for that and this one was at a hundred and fifty 
9,000 miles when I changed it. It's at 165, 166,000. So between five and 6,000 is when I change them. Uh, the Silverado was at 100, was not, I'm just getting 68,000 miles. It's at 73,200. It was 60, it was 68,5 something. So it's right within that range of 5,000 miles. And I know people are going to grill me on the comments. I got to put the beauty cover back on, which can be a pain in the butt sometimes. There it is. Come on. Um, some of y'all going to grill me in the comments. Oh, yeah, you're wasting oil. It's precious oil. Liquid gold. That should be 10, 20,000 miles. That's fine. Okay. I tell a lot with my truck. Do a lot of severe driving. It's been super hot this summer. Change it twice a year, usually. Has a lot of out of around town miles. Not, I mean, it takes about 20 minutes for me to get work or so, so it's not super short distances, but it's severe driving. Okay. And when your oil gets like a dark amber, I recommend changing it, um, especially with this guy here, because that's going to really help start stave off any kind of lifter issues and that's the biggest problem with these lifters they got starved for oil it's been tuned out for years so it's not it's been v8 for since 2018 early 2018 i got a late 2017 so yeah it's been tuned out for years and before that i had the range which i do videos on those things um eventually it's going to get deleted but that's expensive so not going to happen right now and i just replaced the condenser do another video on that um and it's going to get an upgraded torque converter even though the transmission fluid is beautiful but i'll go over that in another video just want to do what i use what i recommend doesn't mean you have to use it you can use mobile one you can use penzoil you can use exxon mobile if that's still available I used to have exxon mobile oil with the tiger on it don't know if it's still around penzoil you can use quaker state you can use whatever you want to use um just do it please for your vehicle and for your peace of mind do it three to five thousand miles i wouldn't go seven or ten um and the older it gets i'd stay within that three to five um and as you can see from this the other one's different i don't have the same fill cap but it's nice and clean not a bunch of rust no foamy crap a little bit of dirt and all but you get that and we bought this with 93,000 miles used. It did get a timing chain, but GM covered it. GM loyalty or something it was. Not everybody gets that. It didn't actually have a recall on this on this VIN number. They've gotten a little slicker. They go by the VIN, whatever. Still got covered under a dealership. They were a good dealership, and they took care of us. And it actually was another problem with this camshaft actuator. And that was like seven, eight hundred dollars, but the timing chain was covered. It's been done. That was at a hundred and that started to have a problem. I checked it with scan tool and all and checked everything. It was at a hundred and 